They just keep coming. You know, this man over here has got some money he wants to give away. I love her boots. That's right, she just said to her. Good job. I said, you're right next to me. You know, we had a hurricane two weeks ago, right? You guys live around here? Did you get to feel the winds? How bad they were? You ever ask yourself, where did the birds go? When the storm came, where did the birds go? Did you see them flying around when the winds were blowing like 60, 70, 80 miles an hour? Did they migrate? Where did they migrate to? Uh, so see, the birds migrated north, and then what they do after the storm's over, they come right back down. <coughs> You ever wonder how birds know to get out of there before the storm comes? <laughs> what, is, what is that from? How do the birds know to leave? They should like, stop people that's out of their house and look at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching the weather secretly on their TV. <laughs> Listen, God gives them what's called an instinct, right? And God gives them an instinct so that when they feel the difference in the pressure, they know to, to actually find safer cover. But you know, there's always that one bird that doesn't listen. So when I was at my house, and I live in Daltona, I'm probably 30 miles from here or less. This bird, this was right when the storm calmed down a little bit enough for me to take my dogs outside. And they didn't want to go. So, I take them outside, the wind's still blowing and it's constant, but there's this one bird, and he's flying. Well, he was trying to fly. He flies, and he's flying by the woods, and all of a sudden this wind gust comes, and you don't see the bird no more. And the wind gust dies down, you see this bird just flapping and flapping and flapping and flapping. And he's up here, and then all of a sudden he hits something, and he's not like literally hits some like tree, but there's something in the wind and the air pressure, he just like drops down. And then he's just flapping and flapping and flapping. And he comes back up and the wind blows again and blows it back this way. Now why didn't that bird leave when the other birds left? Because he doesn't want to be a stalker and not He doesn't want to be a stalker. He couldn't find the right weather channel, right? So listen, God tells the animals what to do. Um, you ever wonder where squirrels go? Don't they usually live in trees? Right? So if they live in trees, and all the trees get blown around, where do you think they go? I don't know where they go, I just know I didn't see any. Okay? But after the storm's over with, there they are again. So it's just an amazing that they know. But listen, there's always that one that doesn't listen to the instinct that God gives them. And they're just like us. So God tells us, what we should do, what we shouldn't do. God gives us insight and wisdom, but He leaves it up to us whether we're going to listen or not. Is that right? Yeah. Now, how many of you guys live in a, a mobile home? Anybody? Anybody here live in a mobile home? Okay. Did you stay in the mobile home when the storm came? Nope. Why? Because you're smart enough to realize that a mobile home and a hurricane are not a good match, right? But listen, there's always that one person. It will stay there. So I tell you all that to let you know this, that as you continue to grow up, God will continue to tell you things you should do, things you shouldn't do. He'll show you which ways to go. He'll show you how to live your life. But you got to actually listen to him. You can either be like the smart birds who got out of there before the storm came, or you're going to be like that one bird that just beat himself to death trying to fly against the wind. I don't know where the bird was trying to go, but... I don't think he made it there because every time he moved five, six feet forward, a wind would come and blow 20 feet backwards. And he just kept trying to fly, kept trying to do it, kept trying to do it. And I'm not sure what happened to him because the wind started blowing really hard and I need to get back inside with dogs. So, again, listen to what God tells you to do. God will speak to you in many ways. One way he speaks to you is through his word, the Bible, right? Another way he speaks to you guys is through your parents. Uh, and teachers, uh, and through the people here at church. Another way he speaks to you is he'll speak directly to your heart. You guys ever had God speak to your heart? Like you're driving down a road and something tells you don't go any further? 
and you don't listen to them, and you go farther, there's a tree in the middle of the road, and you end up hitting it. <coughs> Anybody ever done that? I'm, I'm the only one there. <laughs> Gary's in the back. He's got to see that. So you got to be able to know God's voice, and when you know He's speaking to you, to listen to what He says. Okay? All right, you guys can go back to your chairs now. Your seats. Oh,